Hello everyone, we welcome you out to East Lawrence High School where we're here in the halls and we're speaking with the drama teacher, which is Marcy Mulkey. Great. Welcome to you, Marcy. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for inviting us out to talk about the production coming up. Now, drama is a real important part of uh, young person's education. I, I think it, the liberal arts Absolutely. are exceptionally important. So how long have you been involved with the drama um, program here? I have been at East Lawrence for 15 years and I've been doing drama and literary and speech here for 12. Ooh. So, yes. <laughs> not your first play. No, 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 not at all. Okay, and so this year, another production after right. after so many years. Uh, is this right. the first time you've done the play that you have coming up? Uh, this particular play, mm -hmm. yes, but uh, I would say probably seven or eight years ago, we tried out a audience participation murder mystery, mm -hmm. had it catered, and it was a hit. Uh. And every year since then, we've been asked. It's, it's backed by popular demand every year. Mm -hmm. um, now it's fully catered. We've had to move it to two nights because our crowd has grown so large. Um, Mr. Greg Tucker, one of our very own, he caters a, a full sit-down meal. Um, and the audience is part of the play. They have to solve the mystery. We have door prizes that have been donated from local businesses, several mm -hmm. gift certificates, Visa mm -hmm. cards. Um, this year we'll have six free lessons of martial arts uh, to give away. We have several different prizes. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a really pro a popular event every year. And so the community really turns out for it. Right, don't we've had o over 35 businesses sponsor or donate money or door prizes for us this All year. Right. So. All right, Miss Mulkey, we appreciate what you're doing. Now you have a lot of young people that are involved yes, with this. Yes, and this is this is just a a, a handful. A sampling of, of the crew of huh? my kids, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so the play, what's it called this year? Uh, Till death do us part. All right. um, it's about uh, a hippie wedding that has gone awry and a couple Imagine of, that. Right, a few people die and the audience has to search the, the auditorium for clues Then they have to question the suspects. Um, be a little dancing involved because they're part of the wedding so they will be part of the wedding reception. Mm -hmm. um, they'll have the wedding reception meal and they'll question the suspects and then they'll get to um, try to solve who the murderer is so Beautiful. and then we give away prizes based on that so okay. where will it be held this year calvary baptist church on 319 right here in east dublin mm -hmm. so and what times are the performances uh it begins at 6 30 so we start promptly at 6 30 because we have several different places where we stop for the the meal reception meal for the dancing for the clue search for the questioning of the suspects so mm -hmm. yeah it's a it's a full it's a full night of fun and food. All right. So you have some young people we're going to get to meet. Yes, I do. All right. Well, we'll take a short break and be back and meet those young people right here. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Mulkey. Thank you. I'm Locke Wilford at Dublin Auto Outlet. Nobody beats our prices and nobody beats our selection. Clean, late model vehicles. If we don't have it, we'll get it. Dublin Auto Outlet, downtown, across from the new Dairy Queen. Do you love lighting up a child's eyes? helping people feel safe, or changing the way someone feels about themselves? Oconee Fall Line Technical College offers programs that can turn your passion into a career in two years or less. With flexible class scheduling, financial aid and grants in a caring environment, there's no reason you can't do what you love every day. Get ready, your career starts here at OFTC. All right, welcome you back. Now we get to talk to the cast and, mm -hmm. and staff of the play that's coming up. Your name, young man? Uh, Noah Ward. Hey, Noah, how you doing? Good, how about you? Tell us about your family. Uh, I'm, I'm the son of Amy and Chan Ward, mm -hmm. and uh, I have a little sister named Elena. Yeah? Yes, sir. All right. And how long have you been a part of the drama program? Uh, this is my first year, and I hope to have many more. All right. You excited about it? I'm very excited. Okay. How long have y'all been working on this? Uh, we've been working on this ever since our... Uh, before Christmas break, right mm -hmm. in November, end of November, yeah. we started. Oh, wow, it's been taking a while, and it takes a lot of hard work, doesn't it? Your name, mm -hmm. young lady? Brittany Paget. Hey, who are your parents, Brittany? Um, my parents are Nicole Paget and Lance Paget. Mm-hmm. I know they're proud of you. They are. Yeah, they'll probably show up for the play too, right? Oh yes, they're really <laughs> excited. <laughs> All right, how many years have you been involved with drama? I've been involved one year. Mm-hmm. Now, does this come naturally in your family? I know your mom does a little acting. Yes, yeah, she's been doing acting since she was in high school. So she really enjoys it. She's good. Mm -hmm. She coached you a little bit. Yeah, she's been trying to go over lines with me and stuff. Mm -hmm. so That's she likes important. It. Remember your lines. Mm -hmm. So what's your part in the play? 
Um, I'm Eula, and I'm the mother of the groom. Mother so. of the groom. All right. What's your part in the play? Uh, I'm Herb, and I'm the mother. I'm the uh, not mother. I'm the, I'm the father <laughs> of the groom. <laughs> yes. All right. Got to remember your role now. I need yeah, to. <laughs> that's right. Well, we we're excited about it. I know the community will turn out and and support you all in what you do. And thank y'all for what y'all doing for the school. Mm -hmm. All right. And next we have. Um, I'm Ethan Lowe. Hey, Ethan Lowe. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing very well. Now, Ethan, tell us about your responsibilities with the play this year. Uh, responsibilities? Well, I'm the groom in the play. and So you're a hippie? No, I'm the zookeeper. You're the zookeeper. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And you're the hippie? Yes. All right. <laughs> What's your name? Lauren Evans. All right. Tell us about your parents. Uh, I'm the daughter of... Caroline Evans and Michael Evans. Mm -hmm. And they are proud of you, aren't they, baby? Yes. I'll bet they are. <laughs> and what's your part in the play now? You are the? I'm the hippie bride. Okay, so tell us a little bit about it without spoiling the whole thing. She's kind of dumb, but um, she has a lot of things that most of the characters don't understand. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so how many dramas have you been a part of? Um... This will be my second year in this class. Um, I've done four four plays, I think, and it's been really good, really great. What do you get most out of it if you had to pinpoint one or two things? The most I get out of it is working with people and like get having different roles, so you're not stuck to one thing. You have a different personality for everything. You kind of like all around. And, and tell us so what you've gotten out of it. What do you learn from being a part of drama, and what's the exciting part for you? It's a good family, and <laughs> it's a good family. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you all for joining us. Thank you. Baby. All right, and now we have another couple of young people. Your name, please. Justin Dean. Hey, Justin. Tell us about your parents. Parents. Well, I'm a son of Robin Dean, mm -hmm. and uh, well. That's pretty much all I know about that. Yeah, all right. So how long have you uh, been a part of drama? Well, this will be my third year in drama, okay. but I've been in multiple dramas, not just East Lawrence. I've uh, uh, participated in uh, for my church and uh, for Dublin Main Street Players. I'm part of that. I have been in over 20 productions. Awesome, man. You really enjoy it. Uh, I what love it. What type of roles have you played? Well, I have... <laughs> And many of them, I played the um, the dim-witted character. So <laughs> I've always um, but I've always played more of the funny role, sure. the dim-witted character, like the, comedy. the comedy part. Yeah. But yeah. I also like to have the I I also want to try out the more serious part because I I like I like change it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. What was how old were you when you were in your first drama? I was 15. Oh. Yeah, I was with Miss Marcy Mulkey. Okay. So that was my so first part of your church. What, what's the name of your church? Murray Baptist Church. All right. And so what type of productions have y'all done there? We've done um, skits. And right now we're uh, working on a Easter, Easter time that's, mm -hmm. um, it's actually going to be um, this Sunday and Monday, mm -hmm. and Monday at um, Murray Baptist Church. So we're going to do that about the resurrection and all that. We're actually awesome. putting that on. Good. Good for you. All right, your name, young lady? Um, Brianna Thomas. All right, Brianna, tell us about your family. My mom is Sherry Thomas. She works at the VA Center here in Dublin. My parents are both retired military. She's from the Air Force. And my father, Joseph Thomas, he is retired Army, and he does stuff online. How long have you been in our community? You've been at East Lawrence all your years so far? Um, I moved to East Lawrence in eighth grade in January. So, no. Well, all right. So you got involved with drama at yes. that time, or how many years have you been involved? Last year was my first year in drama, but the year before that I did do a skit for a church that I used to go to. It was a Christmas or, um, a Christmas skit. Mm -hmm. So what do you like most about being a part of the drama team here? I like being able to meet the people, as uh, Lala had said, that it is such a great family, and it gives you so many opportunities, and it helps you get more involved in the community. Awesome. So you're looking forward to this production? I am. And what is your role? Um, I'm Miss Peabody, and I help the audience figure out who the murder could be. Mm -hmm. That's an important part. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So the audience participation, have you been a part of a, a play like this? I have. Um, last year was my first year doing something mm -hmm. similar to this. Yeah. 
So that's pretty exciting getting the audience involved. It is. And they do, don't they? They do. Yeah. All right. So we're really looking forward to it. I know you want to invite all the people out in the community. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And it's usually good performance. Again, we'll be telling you more about where it is and the times, and we'll be meeting more young people, more of them coming up in just a moment. So stay tuned. My name is Helen Powell. I'm the owner and instructor at Careers in Cosmetology. If you want an exciting, profitable career, come see us. My name is Shelly Staff, and I have been a stay-at-home mom for 18 years. I am so excited to attend this wonderful establishment. I love Miss Helen. For anyone that is like me, I would greatly encourage you guys to come and visit and see what Miss Helen has to offer. Since I've been enrolled in careers in cosmetology, I've learned a lot, and I look forward to a bright future in cosmetology thanks to Miss Helen Powell. Portions of this program are brought to you in part by Fairview Park Hospital, a leader in healthcare for Dublin, Lawrence, and surrounding communities. Providing inpatient and outpatient surgery options and rehabilitation therapy services. Welcome you back, and now we have two more members of the drama team here at East Lawrence, and your name? Kelsey Lafferty. Hey, Kelsey. Hey, how you like drama? I love drama. And, and tell us a little bit about your performance or about what you're um, doing this year. I'm the Justice of the Peace in our play that is next thir is this Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my second year in drama, mm -hmm. and it's my favorite class. Justice I enjoy of the it. Peace. Mm -hmm. I marry the groom and the bride. Mm -hmm. So you get to wear a robe and is a that right? Dress a dress and some heels. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, Justice of the Peace. I'm yeah. just wondering. All right, and so. Uh, your role is a very serious role? Uh, yeah, but then again, it's a funny role. Good. You get to have some fun with yeah. it. How many years you've been a part of the drama club? Two years. All right. Good for you. And then, so tell us a little bit about how what you would say to the community in order to get them out if someone's thinking about coming. Um, I would say that if you're sitting at home and you're bored, you might want to come because it's going to be a great night full of fun and murders. Oh. And, of course, food. I love food. I don't know about y'all, <laughs> but I love food. Well, that's part of it. And your name? Haley Valk. Hey, Haley. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Doing very well. Tell us a little bit about your part in the production. Well, I'm the bride's cousin, and I'm one of the, her only family members. Uh -huh. Kind of Southern. Yeah, are you? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. tell us about the role. What, what part do you bring to the production? Um, well... I said one of the bride's only family members, mm -hmm. and I'm there to comfort her whenever in her time of need. Yeah. You know. Okay. So you're really excited about it. How many years have you been in, involved? Two years. Okay. So what would y'all say about Miss Mulkey? What kind of advice does she give you in coaching you to, to learn your lines and to, to actually participate in the drama? What would you say? Well, I say she is a very good director and she pushes us in a good way to learn our lines and to tell us to study them every night because she knows that we are capable of doing a very good performance. All right. Any word to add to that? Yeah, Miss Monkey is my all-time favorite person and if you don't know your lines, she's going to make sure you know your lines by the next day. <laughs> That's good stuff. I'm proud of her too. Thank you all for joining us. All right, and now we have two more young people here from East Lawrence High School. We're talking about the production coming up this weekend, uh, the drama production, and the name again? My name is, to, oh, the name of the production? Yeah, oh, you. Till Death Do Us Part. Till Death Do Us Part, okay. And so remind everybody, what is it, what's it all about? What's the play? Well, it's about a hippie wedding where mm. there's a couple mishaps that happen where a few people die because it's a murder mystery. Mm-hmm. And so the audience gets to participate. Mm -hmm. All right. Is it pretty exciting being a part of drama? It is. I love it. This is my first year doing it. All right. What's your name? Um, I'm Haley Mollis. Haley Mollis. Who are your parents? Who are your family? Um, my family is Greg Mollis and Stacy Mollis. I know we're proud of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's been fun so far in drama. Mm -hmm. You got to meet a lot of new people. What grade are you in? Um, I'm in 10th grade. Okay. So you've got a few years more that you can participate in. So what do you feel like you get mostly out of being a part of the drama team? Well, I hope it it feels like it makes us grow more confident, like outside of just drama and like lets us interact more with our community. Very good. How about you, sweetheart? What's your name? Tazavia Davis. And tell us about your family. Well, my mom's name is Pamela Davis and my dad's name is Adrian Doster. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I have a little brother What's named Juante Davis. All right. All right. 
and they're all excited about the play coming up. Mm -hmm. They're going to be on the hand to help solve the mystery. <laughs> all right. So tell us what you get out of it, what Miss Mulkey is teaching you all in the class. Well, she helps me learn better, and when I don't know my lines, she helps me get it. But it's an off. It's a fun experience. Good, good. So what do you feel like you're gaining mostly out of it? Mostly, well, I'm a shy person, so it helps me kind of be more outgoing. Mm -hmm. I can tell it's working. <laughs> you're doing a good job. What do you feel like you're getting from the drama? Well, I just like how it helps us interact with our community because I um, feel East Lawrence, like, we need to get out there so people know, what, like, what we're doing and how we get involved in the community. All right. Well, thanks for being involved. All right, now once again at East Lawrence High School, a couple of young men who are part of the drama club. What's your name? Uh, Joshua Thomas. All right, Joshua. Who you? Who your parents? Your family? Um, my family is the same as Brian Thomas, so Joey or Joseph Thomas and Sherry Thomas. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many years you been a part of drama? This is my first year, and it, my sister and my friend right here they can try to convince me for like a month, and yeah. I finally decided to join, and I, I have loved it ever since. Awesome. It's been really enjoyable. What's the funnest part of it? Uh, being with my friends here, I love that. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of the people have become family to me. Good, good. So it's pretty exciting. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of energy. Yeah. Yeah, I would say. I would I would think so. So how long have you been in East Lawrence? Um, I moved here around, I think, it was fifth grade, maybe. Mm -hmm. And I've pretty much just been here ever since. I haven't moved or anything. Mm -hmm. what, does, what does Miss Mulkey coach you or help you in doing? Well, aside from, like, learning our lines and stuff, she's kind of been helping us bond a bit with some drama exercises and a awesome. few grammar lessons along the way. <laughs> <laughs> that is important. How yeah. about you, young man? Your name? Uh, Zach Herndon. All right. Tell us about your family. Uh, my mom is Tasha Roland, and that's pretty much it. Okay. All right. <laughs> and so how long have you been at East Songs all 12 or all um, years so far? I have. I had departed at, after first grade mm -hmm. until I got back in sixth grade. Yeah. And then came here ever since. Okay. So how many years have you been involved with drama? This is my first year. And what's your part in it? Uh, I play the lawyer, Howard. Mm -hmm. The lawyer, Howard. Yeah. Okay. So what do you get to do as far as the interaction with the crowd uh, without giving the whole plot away? I go up and I apparently talk about bank transactions. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bank transactions. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what it is, but I do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as long as you learn your lines, yeah. right? Okay. So what would you tell people out in the community maybe thinking about coming to the play? Uh, it's a fun interaction to do, especially with everyone here, because, like, even after we done, like, rehearsed the play over and over, I still laugh every time. Yeah, still humorous, huh? Yeah. All right. Thanks to you guys. Keep up the good work. Okay, and now we have two more students here at East Lawrence. Your name, please? Uh, Mary Moore. Hey, Mary Moore. Um, my parents are Angela Moore and Kevin Moore. Okay. And my sister, Shauna Moore. Mm -hmm. yeah. What grade are you in? I'm um, a sophomore. Oh, okay. First year in drama. First year. <laughs> okay. So how do you find the experience so far? I found it very helpful. It just helps us to interact with others and come out of our shell and actually have some fun at school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's important. you got to yes. have fun with it. Yes, Okay, course. so what do you say about this production? What, what was your first impression of it when you saw what you guys were doing? Happy Ever After. Um, well, I particularly liked this one character, and I got the role for that one character. And I just find that everyone comes to their roles really naturally, and I think it's, it's a good fit for all of us. Miss mm -hmm. Mulkey's doing a good job. She's huh? doing an amazing job. Wonderful, wonderful. So tell us about the part that you have. Um, well, I'm a guest at the wedding, and I played the ditzy blonde and his secretary. He's... Um, it's just more of a comedic role, and mm -hmm. I like to make people laugh, so mm -hmm. it's really Sounds funny. like a fun night. And mm -hmm. tell us your role and your name. <laughs> My name is Matthew Neesmith, and I play as Newton Fig, which is pretty much the nerd of the group. Newton Fig? Yes, sir. <laughs> and he has a crush on the bride and pretty much any other girl there at the wedding. <laughs> Just crush ridden. <laughs> yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. All right. And tell us about your family. Well, my mom is Tanya Neesmith, and my dad is Bruce Neesmith. And I have three younger siblings at the elementary school and primary. Yes, sir. All right. And so how many years have you been a part of drama? Oh, well, this is my second year in drama, and I think it is a very good experience for anybody out there. Okay. So you've already been through one year with Miss Mulkey. Yes, sir. And you processed the second year now. You're about to do your second production. 
So what words of wisdom has she imparted into you? What, what advice has she given you? This really helped you in all seriousness. Yes, sir. Um, she's telling us when we get out on the stage, don't be afraid. Just go through your lines, and it'll all come natural to you. Yes, How many sir. times do you think you guys practice this? Oh, Lord. <laughs> um, a lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. You practice your lines at home for your family as well? Yes, sir. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so they're all showing up for you for the production. Yes, sir. All right, and I know we're all looking forward to it this week, and, and we trust that the community is going to come out for two great shows, huh? Yes, sir. All right, thank you all for what you're doing. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Now we're back with Miss Mulkey, and Miss Mulkey, you've done an excellent job with these young people. Thank they have you. great co eye contact. They have a pretty good grammar, or good grammar. <laughs> uh, we work on that. Yeah, you have to work on every <laughs> facet of it, don't you? Because right. we all become a little bit lazy, or right. uh, if we don't know, we don't know, right? Right. But it's going to be a great production. Again, it's coming up this Thursday and Friday. Right. And the time's again in place. 6.30, Calvary Baptist Church on 319. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. suppose someone wanted some more information right now. How could they get in touch with you? Um, they can call me here at the school, 272-3144. Or my email is Marcy Mulkey, M-A-R-C-I-M-U-L-K-E-Y, at lcboe.net. All right, now, Ms. Mulkey, let's say they watch this late in the day on Thursday or maybe Friday and they want to attend. Mm -hmm. Can we just show up at the door? Yes, we'll have general admission tickets at the door. Mm -hmm. so, good, good. Right. But if you're going to eat, you need to plan ahead. Right, yeah, we, we have to turn in a, he a head count ahead of time, so we won't. We may not have any plates left at that time, but, mm -hmm. you know, maybe. Come on and enjoy the play. Yes, anyway, come right? enjoy the play. Plenty so of seating. That's, that's the best part, right. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have plenty of seating. So. All right. Anyway, looking forward to it. These are my babies. These, these are my hearts. Yeah. Um, we help each other out. And I, I think the biggest thing several of them said that I tried to ingrain in them is that we're family. I have kids from all walks of life. I have football players. I have cheerleaders. I have band members, soccer players, um, kids that in the normal course of the day, you know, don't not do paths. not communicate or cross yeah. paths. But yeah. when we come together, we're a family. Awesome. So, and that's the biggest thing that I try to teach them. Well, I can so. tell you're doing a great job. So, thank yeah. you. How many people do you expect? Um, in the past, we usually have between 100, 150 each night. That's wonderful. So, That's right. really exciting. Right. And I've heard great reviews about it, the, the performances, mm -hmm. the murder mysteries, the right. audience participation. People right. love that. Yeah, it's a, it's a big hit every year. So. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, we appreciate what you're doing. I mean, 12 years you've been teaching drama? Right, 12 years. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Keep up the good work. So how much are the tickets? Uh, the dinner tickets are $15. General admission are $8 in advance, $10 at the door. All right. We hope to see you all out for yes. this performance. I got a feeling that tonight's going